Hello everyone um, and thank you for joining us today. We are uh, here at the Lenetics Ranch. I'm Sydney Linneman and this is my sister Hi. Skylar Linneman. Um, we're really excited to show you guys around today. And, and so we're here in Princeton, Nebraska. Uh, Princeton is located in kind of the southeast corner of the state and uh, this time of year weather is very uh, volatile. So we just got a fresh coat of snow but um, things are warming up and melting off. So we're here at the ranch pulling up in to our barn. Um, you can see we have the certified Angus beef logo proudly displayed. We were really happy to um, be one of 40 barns across the country that was uh, chosen to get this, um, this logo painted and that was in celebration of the 40th anniversary. So today, just to kind of give you a little bit of an overview, we are kind of in between busy seasons. And so we just finished up calving season and now we are preparing for breeding season. So this is our barn and kind of our main facilities that we work from. It serves a lot of different purposes. Right now we've got some brand new calves in this pen over here. And um, during the summer times, it's often kind of our um, party spot. We get this all cleaned up and we've been honored to host lots of different events and groups from all over the country and world. Um, this is my mom, Tori. Welcome to our barn and to Lynette's Ranch. Um, one of those things is calving. When we have inclement weather, we will have the cows and calves in here so they can stay warm and dry and really get off to the best start possible. Um, we brought them in today really because they're really cute. Also can't forget about the ranch cats. Very important staple to our barn. Yeah, they're super, super helpful. <laughs> they like to hop on top of the keyboard while I'm typing. So that, that always helps out a lot. We try and be, like I said, as effective and efficient as possible. And so we want to use the best genetics out there that we can. So we have um, semen from across the country and bulls um, from across the country that we utilize to try and improve that product that we produce for that end consumer and really produce that best beef that we can. And what's really um, cool about um, this process, artificial insemination, is that we are then able to use genetics from all across the country and all across the world right here on our operation. This time of year is nutrition. And um, kind of an example or an analogy that I like to use is it, it'd be similar to how a woman takes prenatal vitamins to ensure that she is meeting all of her nutritional requirements to take care of her own body and her baby. Um, we kind of do the same thing here on our operation. And so we have to make sure that the cows have all of their um, proper nutrients to keep themselves and their, their new baby, their calf, healthy. It's really important, especially this time of year with new babies, to um, make sure everything is healthy and looking good and, and is doing well in terms of um, forage and feed. And, and um, it's also important that we check fences and maintain facilities and things like that. One of the things that we do to ensure those requirements, and that is feeding hay. So we'll show you um, how we go about doing that. And um, during this time of year, when, when things haven't greened up, when there's no grass on the ground for the cattle to eat and graze from, um, what we have to do is feed round bales of hay. Yeah, so um, like Sydney said, right now, the grass is just coming out of its dormant state, just starting to grow. Um, so last year, as in every year, um, we go ahead and harvest that forage um, to supplement them and feed them throughout the year when this grass is in a dormant state. Um, so, like we, we do a few different types of forage, um, but our main main types are alfalfa and a grown grass mix. Um, so those right now, those cows need a little bit more nutrients when they're when they have that calf on their side when they're nursing. Essentially, they're taking care of two of them. They're not just taking care of themselves, just like a mother. Um, these cows, as you can see, they have calves on their side. Um, they were born, we usually start calving um, first calf heifers in January, um, late January. Then the rest of the cows kind of start in February. Okay, so Skylar has to cut the net wrap to get the bale ready to put in the feeder. And um, this, this bale feeder actually is, it, 
called the Bextra Bale Feeder, and this is something that my dad invented. <laughs> Um, and so you can see these these cows are getting pretty excited and heading this way to this bale of hay. Um, I don't know how well you can tell, but there is actually, they can get all the way back behind the pond. And there is plenty of hay in those feeders back there. But um, these cows are a little bit picky and they like this stuff better. This is a different type of bale. And so they're, um, they're excited to have this. Uh, and so um, I guess this would be a good time to talk about maybe some of the things that we enjoy most about this lifestyle and this, um, you know, being together and working together. And it's especially um, in these kind of uncertain times, it's, um, it's refreshing to be able to come out here and kind of be, be outside and, and, and taking care of cattle. And um, so with that, we are going to wrap things up and be enjoying some some burgers today. But um, thank you all so much again for joining, and um, thank you all. Thank you.